Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang probability of committing type 1 and type 2 errors. Let's recall the previous lesson on the difference between type 1 and type 2 errors. So type 1 error occurs when a true null hypothesis is rejected. For example, we have the null hypothesis, the mean weight of the students is at least 50 kilograms, mu is greater than or equal to 50, and the alternative hypothesis is the mean weight of the students is less than 50 kilograms, mu is less than 50. Suppose the null hypothesis is true, if the researchers concluded that the mean weight of the students is less than 50 kilograms, ito yung uh, nireject natin yung true null hypothesis, then they commit a type 1 error. Next, type 2 error occurs when a false null hypothesis is not rejected or a false null hypothesis is accepted. So, let's say we have the same uh, null and alternative hypothesis from the previous example. Suppose the null hypothesis is false. If the researchers concluded that the mean weight of the students is at least 50 kilograms, that means they did not reject this null hypothesis, which is already false, then they commit a type 2 error. These are the important formula na ating gagamitin. So, we have the sample mean is equal to mu plus z times the population standard deviation over square root of the sample size. Yung mu natin dito is the hypothesized mean. Okay? Next, we have z is equal to the sample mean minus the true population. Ito yung mu sub t over standard deviation or the population standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. So, the notation we have for type 1 error, probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when HO or H sub 0 is true is equal to the level of significance. Basically, ang type 1 error is just the alpha level or the level of significance. Kung ano yung alpha level natin, yun na agad yung ating probability of committing a type 1 error because that is the rejection region for the null hypothesis. Even if we have a right-tailed, left-tailed, or a two-tailed test. Okay, so kahit siya ay non-directional or, or directional types of test, still, the probability of committing a type 1 error is the level of significance, alpha. Okay, so magkocompute lang tayo dito sa pagkuha ng probability ng type 2 error. That is probability of failing to reject H sub 0 or uh, you accept H sub 0 when the null hypothesis is not true or the null hypothesis is false represented by beta. Let's have the first example. A teacher wants to test if college students take less than 5 years to graduate from college on the average with a standard deviation of 0.5 years. She obtained a mean of 5.5 years from a random sample of 40 students. Suppose the actual population mean is greater than 5 years, what is the probability that the teacher concludes that the average residence of college students is less than 5 years at 5% level of significance? So first, let us state the null and alternative hypothesis at alamin natin kung ano, ano ang kinukuwang probability rito kung type 1 ba or type 2 error. So H sub 0 is a college student take at least 5 years to graduate from college. So this is a, a left-tailed test. So H sub A, college students take less than 5 years to graduate from college. So sabi rito, suppose the actual mean is greater than 5 years. So ibig sabihin, Ang tama natin is the null hypothesis. But, the teacher concludes that the average residence of college students is less than 5 years. So, therefore, the teacher rejects this null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true and this is a type 1 error. So, type 1 error is equal to the level of significance which is 5% or 0 0.05. So, yun na agad ang ating probability ng type 1 error. Error. Okay, so wala tayong kocomputein. Doon lang tayong magkocompute sa type 2 error. Example number 2, we want to test if the average height of 9th graders is less than 70 inches with a standard deviation of 4 inches. A random sample of 50 students was taken with a mean of 72 inches. If the true population mean is 68 inches, what is the probability at 1% level of significance that we conclude that the average height of 9th graders is at least 70 inches? First, we state the null and alternative hypothesis. So, the average height of 9th graders is at least 70 inches. Mu is greater than or equal to 70. And the alternative 
uh, hypothesis is the average height of 9th graders is less than 70 inches, mu is less than 70. So this is a left-tailed test. So since the true population is 68 inches, and 68 inches here is less than 70. So that means the null hypothesis here is false. Okay? So ang tinatanong probability rito is that we conclude that the average height of 9th graders is at least 70 inches. That means you still accept the null hypothesis or you fail to reject the null hypothesis when h sub 0 is not true or false. So this is a type 2 error or represented by beta. So, dito tayo magko-compute. Let us identify the given. So, the hypothesized mean is mu is equal to 70. So, ito yung 70 inches dito na sinasabi. That is the hypothesized mean. The sample size is 50. Ito yun. The population standard deviation is 4 inches. Ito yun. The sample mean is 72. Ito yung 72 inches dito. The level of significance is alpha is 1% or 0 0.01. And the true population mean here is 68. Okay? So, at ang ating null hypothesis, mu is greater than or equal to 70. The, null, the alternative is mu is less than 70. So, step 1, calculate the z-score corresponding to alpha equals 0 0.01. So, use the z Table. So, from the C-table, we can see that uh, wala naman tayong exacto na 0 0.01, kundi ang pinakamalapit dito is 0 0.0099. So, dahil dyan, ang ating Z-score corresponding to this area is negative 2.33. Okay? So, ito yung ating rejection region. So, rejection region for the null hypothesis, okay, which is represented by alpha, z is approximately equal to negative 2.33. Ito yung part na ito. Okay? Next step 2, next step 2, you calculate the z-score corresponding to the z-score using the hypothesized population mean. So, x bar is equal to 70. Ito yung hypothesized population mean minus the z-score 2.33. Bakit tayo nagkaroon dito ng minus kasi negative yung ating z-score times 4 over square root of 50 which is approximately equal to 68.68. So from that Point, we calculate the z-score corresponding to x bar is equal to 68.68 using the true population mean naman. So, yung una is kinompute natin yung x bar using the hypothesized mean. This time, gagamitin naman natin yung true population mean. So, z is equal to 68.68. Ito yung uh, na-compute natin from step 1 minus 68 over 4 over square root of 58. So, 68 here is the true population mean. Okay, so Z is approximately equal to 1.2. So, ito yung ating 1.2, itong part na ito. And then, ang i-compute natin is area to the right. Bakit to the right? Kasi nga, ang ating null hypothesis here is greater than or equal to 70. Okay, so to the right of Z is approximately equal to 1.2. Ito yung part ng beta natin. Okay, so saan ko nakuha yung direction? You just look at the direction of the null hypothesis. Okay, to the right siya ng z-score. So, probability of z is greater than 1.2 is equal to 1 minus probability of z less than 1.2. Tingnan nyo lang siya dun sa inyong normal distribution table. We have uh, 1 minus 0.8. 849 is equal to 0.1151 or 11.51 percent. Therefore, the, the probability of committing type 2 error is 11.51 percent. So, this is for left-tailed test. Example 3. We want to test if the average height of 9th graders is 70 inches with a standard deviation of 7 inches. A random sample of 40 students was taken with a mean of 78 inches. If the true population mean is 69 inches, what is the probability at 5% level of significance of committing a type 2 error? First, we state the null and alternative hypothesis. So, H sub 0, the average height of 9th graders is 70 inches. And alternative hypothesis, the average height of 9th graders is not equal to 70 inches. So, this is a two-tailed test dahil gumamit tayo ng equal at not equal to. Okay, so equal and not equal to. And we're going to find the probability of type 2 error kasi sinabi na naman siya sa problem. The probability of failing to reject h sub 0 when h sub 0 is not true represented by beta. 
So, dahil uh, probability of type 2 error ang kukunin natin, kailangan nating mag-compute. So, the, population, the hypothesized population mean is 70, ito yung 70 inches. The sample size is 40, the 40 students. Population standard deviation is 7, ito yung 7 inches dito. Sample mean is 78, ito yun. The level of significance is 0 0.05 or this one, 5% level of significance. And the true population mean is 69, ito yun. Okay, so step 1, calculate the z-score corresponding to alpha is equal to 0 0.05 over 2 is equal to 0 0.025. So, bakit na-divide natin siya sa 2? Dahil ito ay two-tailed test. Okay, kaya meron tayong 0 0.05 over 2 is equal to 0 0.025 which is equal to negative 1.0. 0.96. Okay. Dahil may sakto tayo sa 0 0.025 which is negative 1.96, ito yung left tail probability. Okay, ito yung part na ito. And yung right side natin which is 1.96, yun naman yung right tail probability. Kaya meron tayo rito yung alpha over 2, alpha over 2 which is equal to alpha. So 0 0.025 itong rejection region na ito, 0 0.05 itong part na ito, kaya meron pa rin tayong 0 0.05 level of significance. So again, dinivide natin siya sa 2 dahil ito ay two-tailed test. Next, step 2, calculate the score corresponding to z-score. So dalawa yung ating z-scores, plus minus 1.96. So, x bar is equal to 70 minus 1.96 times 7 over square root of 40. Itong 70 natin dito is the hypothesized population mean. So, approximately equal to 67.83. And the other one is 70 plus 1.96 times 7 over square root of 40 is approximately equal to 72.17. Next step, calculate the z-score corresponding to x bar is equal to 67.83 and 72.17 given the true population mean. So, ito yung na-compute natin from the previous steps. So, z is equal to 67.83 minus 69. This one now is the true population mean over 7 over square root of 40 is approximately equal to negative 1.06. And the other one is 72.17 minus 69 over 7 over square root of 40 is approximately equal to 2.86. And then for the last step, calculate the area between the two z-scores, negative 1.06 and uh, z is equal to 2.86. So that is probability of z greater than negative 1.06 but less than 2.86. So dahil two-tailed siya, kaya dalawa yung involved dito na z-score. Okay? Is equal to 0.9979. Ito yung area to the left of 2.86 and then minus 0.1446. The area to the left of negative 1.06 is equal to 0.8533 or 85.33%. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.